Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone. Welcome back. So let us continue to discuss on how to sketch the graph of cubic function. Suppose now we have the case 3. So case 3 represents that we have 3 roots. So the general equation for cubic function, we have ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equals to 0. And for this case, the d here still represent the y-intercept. Right, so um, we do have two basic shapes for um, this case 3. So the first one is suppose that when a is positive, and the next one is suppose when a is negative. So suppose that we have a is positive, the shape of the graph is something like this. And suppose that when our A is negative, the shape of the graph should be like this. Alright, so um, to make it easier for you to memorize the shape, suppose that when we have A is positive, the shape of the graph um, start, start with um, sad to smile. So let us write here, from sad to smile. But anyway, for um, when our A is negative, we will have from um, smile to sad. So it's right there. So we have um, smile to sad. Alright, so let us um, discuss a few questions on how to sketch this um, particular cubic function when we have three roots. Alright, so the first one. So we need to sketch the graph of fx equals to x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 2. And suppose when we try to factorize this um, cubic function, we will get equals to x minus 2, um, x plus 1, and x minus 1. So which means we do have three x intercepts for this case, and we need to make sure that the graph will pass us through to the three intercepts that we have just obtained here. And this two here is of course the y-intercept. Right, so let us um, plot straight away the points, uh, the x-intercept first. So what we have here is negative one. We have um, one and we also have two. And we also have positive two as the um, y intercept so it should be somewhere around here right so and the coefficient of um, x cubed here is positive one so which means the graph is starting from um, sad to smile so let us try to sketch the graph now so um, please make sure that it passes through all of the um, intercepts that we have obtained and therefore we can get the domain and range so for this one domain of f is negative infinity up to positive infinity and range of f where we need to look for the interval of y which is also the same with the domain which is negative infinity up to positive infinity right so let us proceed to the question number two so we have negative x cubed plus 2x squared uh, plus x uh, minus 2. So suppose when we try to uh, uh, factorize this, we will obtain here x minus 2, x plus 1, and x uh, minus 1. So this question number 2 is actually almost similar with number 1, but we do have now the negative graph, okay? Because this um, coefficient of x cubed is negative here. So with the same... Um, intercepts for x at least so we have um, negative one here we have um, of course one and two so but now we do have the y intercept here becomes a uh, negative two so this is our y intercept all right so and since we have um, this one as the negative x cubed so the shape of the graph 
is starting from a uh, smile to sad and we need to make sure that the, the graph passes through all of the uh, intercepts that we have obtained so let us try to sketch the graph now but before that let us label the negative 2 somewhere around here all right so um, let us try to sketch the graph so it passes through negative 2 here and it will pass us through positive 2 as well okay so this is the uh, negative 1 here all right this is the positive 1 and uh, 2 here okay so um the domain for this function is negative infinity up to positive infinity and the range is negative infinity up to positive infinity as well all right so um, let us proceed to the question number three so suppose that we need to sketch the graph of fx equals to negative x cubed plus 4x i believe this one looks a little bit tricky okay but um, when we analyze this function okay we just have its um, um, negative x cubed plus 4x we don't have the um, x square here and we don't have the d here so um, our y intercept should be at this one zero zero okay so when we try to factorize this so let us try to um, take the negative x first and then we try to uh, factorize the uh, whatever inside this bracket okay so now we have negative x times with um, x square minus 4 where this one can be further factorized so it will be eventually um, negative x um, x plus 2 times with x minus 2 okay so which is uh, it is more than enough for us to uh, to sketch the graph from the uh, information that we have just obtained so what we have here is um, negative 2 uh, 0 here of course and we have also positive 2 something around here so since we have this one as the negative x cube so the graph should uh, give you the um, the shape of smile to sand so it will be something like this so let us try to sketch the graph now um, please make sure that it passes through all of the um, intercepts that we have obtained okay there we go so i'm going to label this one again um, as the intercepts here um, this one is uh, negative 2 0 and positive 2 is somewhere around here okay so um, let us uh, state the domain and range for this function so for this one we have um, domain of um, this, the, the function is negative infinity up to positive infinity and the range of f is still the same as its domain which is negative infinity up to positive infinity all right so that's all for this video in our next video we will discuss on how to sketch the graph of third function it is absolutely even more interesting that's all thank you